If you're into home security, there's a good chance that you probably have one of these guys. Video doorbells are one of the most popular cameras that people have in their homes because it essentially guards your front door. Whether that's somebody showing up to your house or a package being delivered, we all wanna know what is happening at our door. But I feel a lot of people are missing out on all of the extra features that you can do with these cameras. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about six different things that you probably didn't know you could do with your video doorbell. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So who has a video doorbell, set it up, saw that you can see a live view in the front door and then pretty much just left it at that. I mean, I know I was guilty of that when I first got my doorbell, but in this little device right here are a lot more components than just replacing your doorbell. If we take this thing and break it out, let me show you what we have. We have got a camera, we have got a motion sensor that is also built into that video doorbell, and we've got a button. So what if we were to take a look at these three devices right here and the type of automation that we can do with these separately? Now take these and combine them back into this. Yes, this does have a motion sensor. Yes, this does have a button as well as a camera. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna go over some automations that we can do with these cameras. And we're also gonna go into some of the other features that are built into some, but not all of these cameras that you see here. Now, before we get started, I'd love to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. It really does help out with the channel. Also, if you are not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's get started. Okay, so I figured we'd start out with some basics and then as the numbers go up, we will make them a little bit more complex. And one thing that I do wanna mention before we get started is that not everything that we're gonna be talking about are going to apply to all the cameras. So there are some things I'm gonna be talking about that are only going to apply to Ring or Nest cameras and maybe not Eufy or Arlo, but I will specify that with each step. The first one that we're gonna be talking about is using your smart home speaker as an additional door chime. Now, as of right now, this is either gonna be for the Nest Hello doorbell, and that's gonna work in the Google ecosystem, or it's going to be for any Ring video doorbell, and that is going to work in the Amazon Alexa ecosystem. Now, and the example I'm gonna show you today is actually going to be for the Ring video doorbell. So to get this connected, we're gonna go ahead and launch our Amazon Alexa app. We're gonna go down to more at the bottom and then we're gonna to go to skills. From there, we are going to look for the Ring skill and we're going to enable it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my skills right here. And let's see, there's Ring right there. So I've already enabled my Ring skill in here, but this is where you would go to do that. Once you have it linked up, you can then go to your devices tab and it's going to load up all of your devices. So I'm gonna to go to all devices. I'm gonna scroll all the way down. Let's see if we can find my ring. So we've got ring video doorbell three plus, and we've got two different announcements that we can enable. If we take a look here, we've got doorbell press announcement. So when somebody pushes the doorbell, it's gonna sound like this. Someone is at the front door. But we can also set up motion announcements. So anytime the doorbell detects motion at the front door, whether somebody pushes that doorbell or not, you can also get this message. Motion detected at the front door. Now motion announcement can be helpful, but if you've got other motion around your front door, whether it be trees or just false alarms, maybe a flag, that thing can get kind of annoying especially if it freaks you out thinking that uh, there's actually a person at your front door when it's really just the wind blowing some trees. Now to kick this integration up a notch, you're gonna want to invest in a smart display, whether that be the Nest Hub or the Echo Show, you're gonna be able to integrate both of those doorbells with those devices to bring up a picture automatically when somebody pushes the door. So for example, if we use the Nest Hello and somebody comes up and rings the door, it's automatically going to load a live view of what is happening on that display so we can see is happening at the front door. And we can also do that for the Ring Video Doorbell in the Amazon Echo environment. This is a super handy feature to have, especially if you have little kids and you don't want them answering the front door until they see who it is. All right, the next thing that I wanna talk about is a service called If This Then That. 
And what this does is it allows you to bring services together that typically don't connect with each other and allows you to set up different automations. So you can either do this through an app on the phone or you can actually go to their website. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the website and we can see kind of some ideas of what we have here. So here is the website and what you're gonna do is type in whatever device that you have. If we have a Ring Video doorbell or maybe an Arlo doorbell and we wanna integrate it with other things in our house. So the example I have right here is connecting my Ring Video doorbell to my LifeX lights. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna flash the lights when the Ring doorbell rings. So when somebody comes up and pushes that doorbell, I activated it and I'm gonna go ahead and select the doorbell that I want. I selected the Video Doorbell 3. And then under that, it's going to blink lights and we've got some extra control here. So it says, which lights do you wanna do? Here's the different lights that I have for LifeX. I'm gonna say all. We can go ahead and change color, we can change brightness, we can change how many blinks that we want, and this is gonna be a great visual cue if you're far away enough that you're not gonna be able to hear the doorbell. So if you have a really big house, or maybe you're out in the shed in the backyard or something like that, you can have this set up, or maybe you have your headphones on, you can have this set up to set up a visual cue. Somebody comes and rings your doorbell, it's going to flash the light the color that you want and the number amount of times that you want. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is gonna take advantage of that button feature. So somebody pushes that button, it's gonna go ahead and set off that automation. All right, sticking to IFTTT, and the next step that I wanna talk about is using the other sensor built into your camera, and that is going to be your motion sensor. So this is just a standalone motion sensor. This one's from Philips Hue. But to use your motion sensor, IFTTT is a great way to do that. Now the applet that I found here is to turn on my TP-Link Casa lights when the Arlo doorbell detects motion. So as soon as motion is detected, it's automatically gonna turn this smart light on. So this is gonna be great for front yard lights, porch lights, to automatically get lights turned on for either helping somebody walk up to your front door or possibly deterring away somebody snooping around in front of your house. All right, now we're taking this to the next level. We're going full blown automation here. And to do that, we need to integrate a smart hub into the mix. Now this can be something like a smart things hub. You can use Hubitat, you can use Home Assistant if you are really brave and wanna do some scripting. For me, I'm using smart things and you can do incredible things with that device right there. You can get really granular with your automations in smart things. So for instance, you could do something like when it is sunset and somebody pushes the doorbell, I want it to turn on the porch lights. I want it to start recording, not only from the video doorbell, but let's say for um, my Arlo camera that is above that doorbell. And I want it to pause my robot vacuum cleaner if it is running. And you know what, on top of that, let's also have it blink some lights too. All of that you can set up through the SmartThings app. All right, now a few steps ago, we talked about getting your smart displays to display those pictures. So somebody comes up and rings either your Google Nest doorbell, comes up on your Google Home Hub, or if somebody comes and rings your Ring video doorbell, it's gonna come up on your Amazon Show. You can also integrate whatever doorbell you have at your front door, whether if it's Eufy or Arlo, to actually display on your TV or wherever you have either a Fire Stick or a Chromecast plugged into. So like I did in the app before where I loaded up the Alexa app and I tied in and linked in my Ring account, you can also do that with your Eufy account or your Arlo account and you can get those displayed on your Fire TV. So if I have a Fire TV stick plugged into a TV, a projector, a screen behind me, wherever I have it plugged into that has an HDMI port, you can request from that device to display that camera on the Fire Stick. And this isn't going to apply to just doorbells, you can do this for any camera that you have in those ecosystems. But for the example here, I have got the camera at the front door loaded up on my TV. So from anywhere in the house, I can just say, show my video doorbell, and it's gonna take a second, but it's gonna load up a live view of what is happening at your front door. Now, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is package detection. And the reason I bring this up is that if you have been using these doorbells for a while now, you might not know that this is a new feature to some cameras. If you're new to it, it's probably been displayed and advertised to you everywhere. But if you've had these for a while, you may not know that the 
Nest Hello Doorbell. We've also got the Vivint Doorbell Pro, and we've got the Arlo Doorbell. If you have any of those doorbells, they have a feature called package detection. So if somebody walks up to your door, which looks like they're holding something, it is going to notify you that a package has been delivered. Now, I personally use this with my Vivint doorbell and I absolutely love it. I get a text message with an image of the person walking up to my door. I also get a notification saying that a package has been delivered. Now, I'm really hoping this feature comes to some other cameras, namely Eufy and Ring, because as of right now, they do not have that feature. Well, that's all I have for this video today. I hope that these ideas got you guys thinking about some other things that you can do with your video doorbell, whether that be using your motion sensor or a push of a button. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.